Hello guys, welcome to SA Vibes. Ladies and gentlemen, since the appointment of General Philip Valerio Sibanda at the position of the decision making in ZANU PF, a lot of people have been so disappointed and a lot of people have been sharing their opinions concerning that. And now it is the former Minister of Tourism and Foreign Affairs who has decided to pour out his heart to Emerson Nangangwa. In this video, I will be giving you the entire details of what he has made known. And before I do that, I want to welcome all my people on board. Please kindly follow us a vibe like the video and drop a comment after watching the entire video. Do well to hit on my post notification bell for more updates. Zimbabwean former tourism and foreign affairs minister Walter Zembi, who served under the late ex-president Robert Mugabe until he was ousted in a coup in November 2017, says President Emerson Nangangwa's appointment of Zimbabwe Defense Force Commander General Philip Valerio Sibanda as an ex officio member of ZANU PF's decision making administrative organ Politburo represent an extension of military influence and an army maneuver to share power amidst deeper militarization of politics. He says this appointment is unusual as in the past ZANU PF used to bring into the Politburo retired army commanders like the late General Solomon Majuro and Vitalis not serving the security service chiefs as in the case of Sibanda. A lot of people have joined their voices with that of the former tourism and foreign affairs minister Waters to say this is unconstitutional and of course not supposed to be so at all. But so far the ZANU PF they have confirmed that everything they are doing is according to the constitution and nobody needs to tell them what to do so far. And of course the president has made it clear so far that his decisions are always based on portraying the constitution of the country and not to go against it. The CCC leader Nelson Chamisa has also cried out loud concerning this, saying that it is unconstitutional and the president needs to come out of this wrath that he is using right now because he is consolidating power by bringing closer to him army generals. And a lot of people have gone ahead to, of course, criticize the president, saying that when he was taking over power, he made it clear that he will only have one term and will not go in for a second one and now he has gone in for the second one and is trying everything possible to make sure that he secures it and will go in for even the third and the fourth time and it will be very hard for Zimbabweans to remove him out of power so people believe that all the changes that he is making right now it is for no other person but for himself because he wants to remove of every obstacle on his way and he is successfully doing so gradually and ladies and gentlemen we all know that the SADC has also of course congratulated the president for his second mandate in office therefore dismissing what Nelson Chamisa thought that the SADC were going to do by bringing fresh elections in the country to of course cool down the tension at the political level so this time around it is going to be a very long time in zimbabwe guys i just want you to go to the comment section and tell me what do you think about all of